Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to see how easy it is to remove unwanted people in a photograph using Adobe Camera Raw's Distracting People Removal Tool. If you haven't previously enabled technical previews in Camera Raw, we'll need to do so to access the feature. If you're starting in Photoshop, the easiest way to enable the tech preview is by selecting Photoshop, Settings, Camera Raw, or on Windows you would use the Edit menu, then choose Technology Previews, and enable the new AI Features and Settings panel. Then you'll need to quit and restart Photoshop. If you're starting in Bridge, choose Adobe Bridge and then Camera Raw Preferences. Again, on Windows you'll use the Edit menu, choose Technology Previews, and enable the new AI Features and Settings panel, and then quit and restart Bridge. All right, in Bridge, I'll select these images and click the Open in Camera Raw icon. Then I'll select the Remove tool, or you can tap the B key, and in the Distraction Removal section, I'll click on People. Camera Raw identifies two areas that contain distracting people, which are represented in the areas with the red overlay. I'll choose Remove, and Camera Raw will use generative AI technology to hallucinate and fill in the targeted areas. To save time, I'm going to speed up the processing of the generative fill in this video. If I want to regenerate the content, I can click on a pin and choose Generate to regenerate the area. If Camera Raw selects a person that I don't want to be removed, I can select that pin and choose Delete. To remove all pins, we could click on the Reset button. All right, let's move to the next image. Because People Distraction Removal was the last tool used in the Remove panel, Camera Raw will automatically try to detect distracting people in this image. In the photo, Camera Raw identified the people in the background as distracting, but not the woman in the foreground, who might be the primary subject of the photo. I'll go ahead and choose Remove to remove all of the distracting people. Then we can use the Preview icon in order to see the original image and without the distracting people. This next image is a bit more complicated, so Camera Raw detects this distracting person, so let's go ahead and remove him. And I imagine that the AI detected this person as a primary subject, not a distractor. For this kind of messy clump of people in the background, I'll select the Remove tool, and with Use Generative AI enabled, I'll paint over the area. Then I'll choose Remove, and Camera Raw will generate three variations that I can choose from. We can click through the variations and choose the one that you like best, or you can continue creating more variations. All right, in this next image, because I have the Remove tool selected, I need to click again on People. But before I choose Remove, I want to point out that not all of the shadows cast by these people are masked. While we can't edit the mask, let's choose Remove and see what happens. Okay, the generative AI tried to actually add in items in some of the areas to go along with the shadows that were left behind. So in this case, I'll delete the pins for the areas that didn't work, as well as this pin of the couple snorkeling, because if we take out all of the people in the image, it'll be really dull. Then we'll select the Remove tool and paint over what I still want to remove, making sure this time that I include all of the shadows and let's remove this as well. Then I'll choose Remove. So depending on the contents of your image, you may need to use a combination of the automated People Distraction Removal and the manual Remove tool. All right, before we wrap up, I just want to point out that we can copy and paste People Distraction Removal by using the Try Dot menu and selecting Copy Selected Edit Settings. In the Remove section, I'll enable People, then I can copy that and select another image and choose Paste Edit Settings to apply the Distracting People Removal to that photo. And if I select Presets and click to add a new preset, we can include People Removal as part of a preset. And this preset will be adaptive, meaning that when the preset is applied, Camera Raw will search and detect people in each image independently of one another and remove them. Excellent. 
Don't forget, this is a tech preview, so if you see odd results, be sure to click Provide Feedback, which will take you directly to the Adobe Forums, where you can let us know what you think. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.